I'm Jay and today we're going to be working on a really fun cute pillow for Valentine's Day. So you're going to need three balls of putty in Bernat Roving. So you can check that out there. Bernat Roving. It is an 80% acrylic, 20% wool yarn. And you're going to need one ball of cherry for our heart and our pom-poms on this pillow. So this is important before you start your project, you want to check your gauge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have nine stitches in four inches and about nine rows in four inches. Okay, so we're going to begin by making a slip knot. I just wrap the yarn around my finger and then pull up a loop through the loop that I made. And we're just going to attach that to our hook and tighten it up. This pillow is going to be made in single crochet stitches, which is really an easy beginner stitch. So we're going to begin by chaining 40. One, two, three, and I will just complete my chain off camera and I will meet you when I get to the end. Okay, so we've completed our 30 chain or 40 chains. So now what we're going to do is do one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain and here is our second chain. So skip the first and then you're going to put your hook through the chain, grab your yarn, pull up your loop. So now you have two loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through two. So that is our first stitch. Go into the next chain, grab the yarn, pull up a loop. You now have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. So we now have two stitches. So you're just going to continue working single crochet stitches all the way along your chain. And you're going to want to have 39 stitches at the end of this row. And here's how you're going to count your stitches. So you can see them. That's your first. So there's one, two, three, four stitches. Okay, so I'm just going to work to the end of my chain and I will meet you back. Okay, so I've worked to the end of my chain. So this is the last one. And now you're going to chain one and turn. Whether you turn and chain one or chain one and turn, it makes no difference. It's the same thing. So whatever method you like, that's fine. Okay, so now we're going to start working into the stitches and we're just going to do one single crochet into each stitch across. So you want to go under both of these loops into those holes right here. So go down, pull up a loop, so two on the hook, yarn over and pull through two. And here's our next stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So you're just going to continue working all the way across. So we're first going to begin just by making the back of our pillow, which is all in the gray, all in putty. So there'll be no change in color. So this will be the easiest part. So you will have approximately 39 rows based on our gauge or our nine, nine stitches, nine rows are equal. So if we have 39 stitches across, we're going to want 39 rows so that we have a perfect square. So I'm going to continue working off camera. You can sit and watch TV or relax and just make your first piece for your pillow. Okay, so I've completed my back. You just want to give it a measure. Make sure that you are 17 by 17 inches. And if you're slightly off, you could always block. You could just dampen this and block it to your measurement and then you'll be good to go. Okay, so working on the front piece, you work as same as the back 
And once you get to 10 rows, then you will begin starting to work in your color pattern. So you wanna follow along with your pattern at this point. It makes it a lot easier or look at the graph. And we're gonna start by doing 19 stitches in the gray. One, two, and actually work across 18 stitches and then I will show you how to change your color on the 19th stitch. Okay, so I have worked 18 stitches. So let's begin our 19th stitch, go through, pull up a loop, and now instead of yarning over, you're gonna yarn over with the red. So pull that through. And now we're gonna go into the next stitch and I am putting both of my strands here underneath. You're gonna pull up a loop. Now we're gonna drop all the red because we're only doing one red stitch and then we're gonna pull back up our gray and pull through. And then we're gonna continue working one, one single crochet and each stitch across. So a total of 19 stitches in the main color. And here's my last stitch. And chain one and we're gonna turn our work. And you just wanna make sure you move your balls as you go so that you're not getting all tangled. So we chained one and then one single crochet in the first stitch. And then you're going to do one single crochet into 18 stitches in our main color. And I will meet you again at the 17th and then show you again how to change color here. Okay, so I've worked to my 17th stitch. And now we're on the wrong side of our work. This is where all of our tails are gonna be. So what you wanna do is just move your gray so that it's now on the wrong side. You don't want your end tail. You wanna grab the tail attached to the ball. And then you're gonna to wanna to yarn over with the cherry. And now we wanna carry the gray along. So what we're gonna do is this is our next gray stitch and we're changing it to red. But we're gonna go under this and that red loop all the way under through, pull up, make sure that gray stays down, yarn over and pull through too. Now again, we wanna work over that gray. So go through, pull up a loop, yarn over, and then we're gonna do one more red stitch. So go through the stitch, making sure we're bringing that gray yarn along. And no, instead of yarning over with the red, at this point we want to yarn over with the gray, but we're going to pull our red strand in here to the wrong side. So nothing's going to be showing and then yarn over and go through. And then go into the next stitch. I'm going to actually show you how you can have a gray ball on either side so that you're not carrying carried it for these first cups only a couple stitches but for the for the remaining rows I'm going to show you just how to keep one ball of gray on one side and one ball of gray on the other so that you're not carrying your yarn as you go okay so I've chained one 
and we're just going to single crochet along. So each row for till we get to the 23rd row, we're going to be just adding one extra red on either side. So I'm just going to work along my row and I'm just going to meet you again when we get to changing our color. Okay. So now this time we're on the right side. So we're going to leave the gray at the back and we're going to yarn over with our cherry. And then we're going to go in and this time I'm not going to carry the gray yarn. I'm just going to drop it and leave it. Then let's work across one, two, three, four, and into the gray. So our fifth. And now what we're going to do is bring in a new ball of gray yarn. We're going to need a third ball. So I'm just going to start working with that third ball of yarn and pull through. And now we're just going to drop again the red. We're going to leave it. And I'm just going to crochet over this tail as I go. just to save a little bit of weaving. So you just continue to single crochet in each stitch across and then we'll work back again to the red section. Okay, so I'm gonna meet you back when I get here to my next section of red. Okay, so I've worked to the end of row 13 and I'm just gonna show you as the yarn can start getting really tangled when you start working with several balls. So you just want to make sure that you adjust your balls accordingly so that you don't start getting a bunch of tangles. So the red in the center and then this gray goes over here. So now I've chained one and I'm just going to work across until I get back to my heart. So row 14 has 16 stitches of gray and then we'll do seven stitches of red. So now you'll notice here that we're working on our wrong side. So what you want to do is take your ball of gray and just pull that over. So that is now our strand is going to remain on the wrong side. We'll grab our red yarn, yarn over with it pull it through and then we're working into that gray stitch and just go under that yarn that we've pulled over pull up a loop yarn over and pull through so we'll have seven stitches in red so there's one two three four six and then seven so what we'll do here is we'll also grab our red all of our red yarn pull it to this side so we drop our yarn on the wrong side and we're gonna pull in now the gray and then work the final 16 stitches across. Okay, so I'll meet you again at the 15th row where we get to the red again. Okay, so I've worked across on row 15. So now this row, we're gonna have nine stitches of the red for our heart. We're working on the right side. So the most important thing so that your yarn doesn't all get tangled is that you continue to move those balls as you go. 
so you don't get tangled. And then when we go through this stitch, make sure you go under that yarn that we've pulled over just to keep it clean. And then we're gonna work nine stitches in the red. So until we reach row 23, we're just gonna keep increasing our red section by two stitches every row. So I'm gonna complete those rows off camera. You can follow along with your pattern if you find it easier, but basically you're gonna to want to bring this red section up to 23 stitches across, and then we'll repeat that 23 stitches four times. But I'm just gonna continue working this off camera and then I'll meet you back at that at the 23rd row so we're just gonna go under this one and then we yarn over with the gray leave the red and continue So this is how your heart shape is taking form. Okay, so I've worked all the way to row 23. So now once we reach row 23, we're gonna do an additional three rows without any changes in our red. So this will be the side now of our heart. So I'm just gonna work into the last gray stitch, which will be eight stitches in the main color. And then we'll yarn over with the cherry red and just do one single crochet into each red stitch along the row. And then we'll do eight in the main color when we re reach here. So we'll just continue without any change for the next three rows. So I will meet you back up at row 26 when we start to actually decrease the red of our heart. Okay, so we're now to row 26. And we're gonna work one single crochet into the next nine. So currently we have eight stitches in the main color and now we want nine stitches. So our red section is gonna reduce to 21 stitches. So we're working into that first red stitch, pull up a loop, and then we're going to put the gray onto the wrong side and yarn over with our red. And then we're going to work 21 red stitches across. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so here's 21. We'll bring that to the wrong side and then grabbing with our gray. We'll then work nine single crochets in our main color. All the way across. And 
and then we'll chain one and turn. Okay, so our next row, which is row 27, we're going to start the center part of the heart. So we need a little bit of the main color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna roll off a small section just to eliminate the carrying of that yarn. You don't need too much because it's only going to be three rows. So that's probably good. Okay. So how this row is gonna work, we are going to do 10 in the main color, nine of red, one in the main color, nine in red, and 10 of the main color again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now we'll yarn over with red. And we'll do nine in our red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we're gonna bring in gray and we're just doing one stitch of gray. We're gonna want to crochet over those two ends. Drop off the gray and then yarn over with the red And then we'll crochet nine red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yarn over with our gray, and we drop the red, but we'll go under that strand of gray there, and then work gray all the way across. So I will work through row 28 with you as well. Okay, so row 28, we're now gonna crochet across 11 in our gray. So I'm gonna do the 11 and then I'll meet you when I change color. Okay, so I've worked 10, there's 11. I'm gonna pull that to this, my wrong side. And now we'll crochet seven stitches in red. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, We'll pull our red 
to the wrong side. And then make sure you're not grabbing your end tail, but you want the tail attached to the ball. And we'll do three stitches in the main color of gray. One, two, but you want to carry that red along. Sorry. So keep it pulled to the back and there's one. Make sure you're just carrying that red stitch right, that red strand right along. And pull your little ball to the wrong side. And then we'll yarn over with the red. See, as you can see, it can start to get a little bit messy with all of these balls, but we're almost to the end. So hang in there. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keeping the red to the wrong side, we'll bring in the gray. And you'll complete the row with 11 gray stitches. Okay, so I will meet you back at the next row. Okay, so now we're on to the 28th row and we're gonna have to do 12 in the gray, five in red, five in gray, five in red, and 12 in the gray color. So I'm gonna begin just by working across and I'll meet you when I get again to the color change. Okay, so I've worked 11. So here's our 12th main color stitch. So we'll now yarn over with the red and work five stitches in the red. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we'll grab the gray and just to ensure that you pull that crochet along that red strand because we'll pick it up again so we'll do five here in the main color one two three four and five And then we'll yarn over with the red and do five stitches in red. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll yarn over with the gray and finish up this row with 12 stitches of gray. Now the remaining nine rows, 10 rows are, sorry, 10 rows from row 30 to 39 is just now gonna be working the gray. So I will work you through row 30 and then I'll let you complete the rest of the rows on your own. Okay, so we're here to row 30. Now what I'm just gonna do is trim All of our ends and then we'll need to weave all of these in and I'll walk you through that but for now let's just start going across here in just single crochet stitches so I've already chained one and then we're just gonna work one single crochet into each stitch across 
Okay, so now I'm onto row 31. As you can see, my heart's complete. So I'm just gonna continue with my final nine rows and then I'll meet you back to show you how to finish this off. Okay, so I've completed 10 rows in gray. So now what we're just gonna do is weave in all these ends on the okay, back. So let's weave in our ends. So you wanna use a yarn needle for bulky yarn so it has the large head. And then you wanna go under like colors. So you just wanna hide your yarn. You weave one way and weave back in the opposite direction. And then you can trim and we'll do this for all of our ends. your pieces to measurements do that the ends are kind of curling so blocking will also help flatten all that out but because this will all be stitched together I'm not going to block mine so this is our right side and as you can see here this starting edge looks like this so if you look at your other piece this will be the right side as well. So we are gonna put wrong sides together because we want our right sides to be on the outside. Okay, so I, I haven't fastened off after my last row. So what we're gonna do is chain one to start. And then I want to join my corners and then single crochet all the way around leaving the top open for putting in the pillow so going through the first space on each we're going to single crochet to join so you're just going to want to feel your way and where your hook We'll just insert through. You're looking at about one single crochet per row that you made. And just keep working single crochet stitches joining your sides together. So I'm just gonna clip the corner just to make sure as I'm working my stitches down that I'm gonna end where I should. Okay, so I'm just about to my corner here. So I'm gonna remove that. And then in our corner, we're gonna make three single crochet. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're just gonna turn this. And again, I'm going to add my clip to my other corner. just to keep me on track. And I'm just gonna single crochet in each stitch along the bottom, going through both sides. I made my way to my next corner.
And again, we're gonna wanna do three single crochet in that corner. Okay, and then we're gonna continue working up this side. I'm gonna clip it, and then we're gonna insert our pillow before we close the top. Okay, so I've worked almost all the way up to the top. I'm just gonna leave my corner until I get my pillow inserted inside the case. Okay, so now I have the pillow in. You can just kind of shove it down as much as possible there to finish closing it up. So just had a couple more stitches there and then our corner we're going to want to add three single crochet stitches. And now this one will be the easiest to close because we're working through the stitch directly. So you can see on this side and that side what stitch to go through. So you just wanna work all the way across, closing up your pillow, and I'm just gonna meet you at the end. Okay, so I've worked all the way to my final corner. And I'm gonna add three single crochet. And then what you wanna do is just slip stitch to that very first single crochet that we started with and then we're going to fasten off and then we're just going to weave that end in but you can see Move my desk down. You can see how this pillow is looking. It's stuffed nice. And you can leave your pillow completely like this, or you can add the pom poms, which I'm going to show you how to do next. Okay, so I want to use up my remaining ball of red to make pom-poms. So there's lots of ways you can make pom-poms. I just like to use my hand. And just wrap, and what you just want to do is count how many times you wrap, because you want each pom-pom that you make to be the same. Done four. Now I'm just going to continue wrapping my hand off camera. And then I'm just going to take a strand of yarn and you just want to place your pom-pom in the center. After you trim your ends, if you just flatten it right down, just make sure you've got all the loops trimmed and just flatten it. And almost like you're trimming hair. Now, if you can make yourself a cardboard template or buy 
a pom-pom maker. You can get every pom-pom for sure the same size. But I am just winging it. And then when you're happy, you just want to go the opposite way. Flatten it out. Both sides. And just kind of pull your tail up. 